our Netflix, our, our love after the altar was not it for me. Hi, I'm Tano. Welcome to my channel, the place where we talk reality TV, news and gossip. So let's dive in. In my personal opinion, we all know who the most interested couple is. And even though a few of them got married, through all the scandal and hype and controversy, again, we all know who the most loved or sought after or wanted to know about most couple is. And obviously, I think personally, in my opinion, that is SK and Raven. But let's dive in Love After the Altar. Netflix Love is Blind. So one year later, we catch up with the couples. Colleen and Matt, Zaneb and Cole, Alexa and Brennan, SK and Raven. And we all know, well, if you watched the season, uh, this season of Love is Blind, we all know basically the catastrophe of, of what happened on this season. So we basically start with an introduction of the couples of where they are now. Those who are married, Alexa and Brennan, Colleen and Matt. Alexa and Brennan, those two, they work, but I'm, li I'm a little bit wary about the two of them. I think, I personally think that from watching the season and watching Love After the Altar, I think that Alexa is way more out there than Brennan. She's very family oriented. Brennan, we didn't see that much of him with his family and stuff like that. Um, so I personally think that Brennan is a little bit taken aback by all of the hype and all of the being around people. That's that's what I get from him. And also the few jabs that like Brennan gets at like the family dinners and stuff like that. Um, I don't think that Alexa father likes him. I think that Alexa, it well obviously from what we're seeing, it seems like Alexa is more con in control of the relationship. And it also seems like Brennan is just going along with everything. Like he's just tolerating what's going on. Like, yes, he cares for Alexa, but like, I don't think like he's really in love with Alexa. Again, this is strictly my opinion parties and nancy parties and nancy these two will never work nope i am glad these two are not together parties is seems like he's always gaslighting nancy it always seems like he's always giving her an ultimatum and it's and it definitely shows in love after the altar he's like are we going to be friends or not you need to tell me right now you decide right now are we gonna be friends or not like you basically need to make a decision then and now i need an answer right now and this and this man is really like digging at nancy's like personality i think because she's so calm and she's so like taken aback she doesn't want to speak up for herself and when she was having that personal conversation with him like it shows that like her parents and her friends, her family has to speak up for her because she's not outspoken. She's not upfront about anything and she, do and she doesn't want to just hurt anybody or just blurt out anything. She doesn't want to and make anybody upset. So I think that's why she just doesn't want to let Barty's no straight up no from the get-go after he said no to her. Like he still, after you said no to her, you still wanted a friendship with this woman. And she was still kind of there like lingering and kind of maybe hoping maybe something would happen. And obviously she knew nothing would have happened between the two of you after that. But she still was hoping and she was holding on to little threads. And I think it was her family who really like kicked it into action to her like no this was not going to happen even at the wedding when they were telling her like yo like this is not right like why is this man doing this to you like barty's is just i barty's will not find anybody anytime soon right currently he's in the perfect match i have not finished watching the season of perfect match i've only watched one episode to be honest 
so i'm i know that that's not really gonna work out for barty so like this man is so conceited and so into himself that when he's into a relationship he thinks of nothing but himself so relationships he get into is never going to work and the fact that nancy is so nice so kind so caring so loving like barty's is just going to take advantage of that situation take advantage of nancy and i am so glad these two had never worked out i'm so glad these two had never worked out i don't think i watch a love after the altar of the other love is blind seasons so i wasn't expecting anything for this love after the altar so now that i've started this channel i'm report i'm sharing my opinions and stuff like that raven and sk oh my gosh yeah. and then first we have and then raven and sk raven and sk i was our our no our by the way i'm saint lucian i'm from the caribbean our 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 that means basically no like no netflix our that was not it for me with sk and raven because what the f what the f was that because from the whole scandal from the whole controversy we got with sk and raven and this whole cheating thing that went down in my opinion, Raven was the one who was cheated with, okay? Because from what I heard in the blogs and from seeing what was going on, the woman was with SK and then he decided to go on Love is Blind when they were together. So to me, Raven was the one that was cheated with. So the fact that we saw that they were together after love is blind and stuff like that after the season aired they got back together after he said no because he knew what he was doing he knew he was not ready to get married he knew he had things going on he knew he was with different women and i don't believe that was the only woman that he was dating and i am disappointed in the fact that netflix showed us this shit i am disappointed in the fact that netflix showed us this Shit. this shit because what the fuck was that what the fuck was that we already knew that this whole cheating scandal had go down i personally thought that netflix would show us that they got back together and all of this cheating scandal thing was just a hoax like not necessarily a hoax but they got over it and they moved on and they moved past it and so on and so forth. And the fact that they showed us this bull crap, I was very disappointed. At the ending, when they showed us Raven crying and saying that SK cheated on her and stuff like that. And I'm like, Netflix, like, we already know this. Why are, why, why, why are you showing us this? shit at the end of love after the altar i don't understand it this is not it for me no 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 awa awa hmm. moving on colin and matt colin and matt seems like to me high school kids that like just got together like their relationship is just fresh and it still seems like even though after a year the relationship is just fresh like they're still just getting to know each other little quirks and kinks and likes and dislikes and turn-ons and turn-offs and stuff like that and it's like okay you've been in the pods for like You've been in the experiment for it's probably been a few months you were you were filming together and then it's been a year after you've married so you've known each other over a year and it still seems like you're in like just the few weeks of a relationship like the way that they act with each other like that's just like that's just the vibe that I'm getting from these two relationships. Colleen and Matt. 
Colleen and Matt to me seems like they seem like a high school kind of relationship. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm talking about, but like, you know, when you see like in the TV shows or in the movies or even just you yourself when you're in a relationship and you're not even just a relationship, like a high school relationship, like children, like young teenagers getting to know each other and you're just getting to understand each other's little quirks and likes and dislikes and turn-ons and turn-offs and stuff like that but you're in high school and you're still got this whole other world going on and understanding yourself and getting to know yourself and getting to know what you want from life and your career and family and you don't even know these things yet right but these two are on love is blind and it seems like they're just in that phase like in that young kind of high school phase where they don't really know each other quite yet and not to say like like i said not to say like they're in an adult relationship right where you know yourself you know what you like you know what you don't like you know what you can take on and what you cannot take on in a relationship and like matt's father said like this man will run away quick like other people know that know that about him like so the fact that he already that has this aura this energy about him like to me it seems like that's what i'm getting from their relationship like it's not very like it's not a very matured relationship like that's why they have not quite moved in together yet because they're still in that adolescent mental phase so their relationship i don't think will flourish anytime soon that's my opinion cole and zainab to me there's not really much to say about cole and zainab i think that they both have their insecurities or personal development that they need to deal with we all do i'm not perfect nobody is perfect um but from what we're getting in that relationship essence of what they're showing us in this dating show cole and zeneb both have their insecurities that they need to deal with i didn't really see too much of where cole fat shame zeneb i think that's a personal insecurity of her and maybe she was projecting it onto Cole and making it more of an issue than it really was. I think Zeneb is the one that thinks she's fat. And maybe the fact that Cole maybe said one, two things, she kind of brought it in, made it a little deeper than it was an overthought on the situation. Again, that's just my opinion. Yes, yeah, so overall, I wasn't really expecting much because, again, I haven't really seen love after the altar from previous seasons. Um, so to me, it was okay. Again, I was disappointed with the whole SK and Raven fiasco with what they showed us. Like, what the hell was that? Um, throughout the different couples, I like it. <laughs> You don't get a high rate of couples succeeding outside of these dating shows. So again, we weren't really expecting these couples to get back together or be really like friendly or friends. Um, To me personally, in these couples, in the married couples, Colin and Matt, Alexa and Brennan, I think Colin and Matt, I don't think these two will last much I, would, I don't want to say much longer, but I don't think these two will last. Alexa and Brennan, I think these two will, will last. Even though I said that Brennan is a little bit laid back with, with her family and her father and stuff like that, I still think that he cares for her and that he will fight for her and that he will not let her go because it shows that he cares for her and it, that he's willing to protect her, he's willing to be there for her, he's willing to fight for her um, with, the, with the energy that he's showing, that he will defend her 
um you really get that essence from him in this episode so i think like from this love is blind season i think this is one of the couples that i really would say that will last long and will really push through the longest the hardest that will fight for each other the most so that's it for this video bye i'm tano thanks for checking my channel do subscribe and i will see you on the next one